Welcome to Support System, a help desk platform designed to streamline your day-to-day -day emails, inquiries, and requests into a simple and easy to use platform. Although the system is ready to use out of the box, today we're walking you through the top five places to get started in customizing the workflow of your help desk to ensure organization, efficiency, transparency, and accountability for all. The first step in getting started is establishing the departments of your help desk. Departments are located under the admin panel agents tab. Departments are a way to separate the different types of tickets in your help desk. Tickets are routed automatically to departments based on the help topic selected upon ticket creation. For email tickets, you can set a default department based on the address the email was sent to. Departments can also be set automatically based on a ticket's criteria with the use of ticket filters. Agents have access to tickets in the help desk based on the departments they have access to. Within each department, you have a few settings available to customize the configurations to best fit your needs. Setting a parent department allows you to nest departments together. When an agent has access to the parent department, they will see tickets of the nested or child departments as well. But access does not extend from child departments to parent departments. The status of the department determines its visibility as well as if tickets can be routed to that department. Within the type, you have the ability to select private if you wish to mask assignment to this department in the client portal. Additionally, when labeled as private, the department signature will not be displayed in email replies. And just to note, at least one department of the help desk must be set to public at all times. You can set a department manager to receive special alerts. They also have the ability to unassign tickets of this department. Ticket assignment allows you to restrict ticket assignment to include only members of this department. When claim on response is enabled, tickets are automatically assigned to the first agent who responds to the ticket. Claim on response can be disabled for this department from here. With this disabled, agents still have the ability to manually claim unassigned tickets. The last section here is specific to the email configurations of this department. The outgoing email is the address used when responses are sent to users when agents post responses to tickets. You have the ability to set a default template set for auto responses and alerts and notices for tickets routed to this department. Template sets can be cloned and edited for department use within the admin panel by going to the emails tab, then templates. The autoresponder settings allows you the ability to override the global autoresponder settings for this department. When the new ticket option is checked, the auto response sent to the user when a new ticket is created for this department is disabled. When the new message option is checked, this will disable the auto response sent to the user to confirm a newly posted message for tickets in this department. The auto response email is where you set an email address from which the auto responses are sent for this department. You can set a department signature to include as a signature option within the post reply box of tickets. Lastly, within the department, you have an access tab where you can manage the agent access of the department as well as the alerts for each agent specific to this department. Once your departments are set, it's time to add your agents. You will always add agents from the account panel of your help desk. Only agents with account panel access can add or remove agents, as this type of change will result in a prorated charge or credit to your subscription. To add an agent, you will select Add New Agent. You will first enter their name and email address. Next, you have the option of sending the agent an email to complete the registration, or you can manually set their password from here. Next, you will set their primary department along with its role. You can grant agents access to additional departments later from their agent account. Next, you can allow them access to the account panel or admin panel. The account panel is where billing is handled, domains are managed, and agents are added and removed. The admin panel is where your help desk configurations are set. Lastly, you have the option of setting the agent to occasional. Occasional agents are not a part of your subscription cost. Instead, they have access to your help desk on a per day basis and log in with the use of day passes. Day passes are purchased from the account panel in groups of 10. After agent creation, you can select the agent's name, then manage account information to set additional configurations of their account, including the permissions and access to additional departments. Within the account tab, you have the ability to manage their name, email address, and password. Set password allows you to send a password reset email or manually set their password for them. Within the status and settings, you have the ability to lock their account, which disables the agent's account, restricting them from logging into the system as well as disabling alerts, 
Checking administrator will allow them access to the admin panel. Limit ticket access to only assigned tickets will restrict their ticket access to only assigned tickets, regardless of department access. In vacation mode, will temporarily turn off all automatic assignments and email alerts to the agent. The access tab is where you set the agent's department access, along with the role they have associated with each department. Each role can have its own set of permissions enabled. You can create and customize as many roles as needed. You can also manually disable alerts per department by unchecking the box next to the department. Within the Permissions tab, you have the ability to customize the permissions each agent has within the help desk specific to users, organizations, knowledge base, and more, regardless of their department access. Lastly, in the Agents profile, you have a Teams tab where you will see all teams that this agent belongs to. You can also customize the alerts for this agent within the team from here. Teams are a way to group agents together for the use of ticket and task assignment. Agents do not require sharing the same department access to be a part of the same team. When a ticket is assigned to a team, all team members will have access to the ticket until closed. Now let's talk about help topics. Help topics are one of the most important features in your help desk when it comes to automation of tickets. You can create an unlimited number of help topics for both public and internal use. When adding a new help topic, you will name it, set its status to active, disabled, or archived, and set its visibility to public or private. Private help topics are still available for internal ticket creation by agents. You can select a parent help topic to nest topics together. Here in the New Ticket Options tab, you can see the automatic actions on tickets upon creation. These actions include the department the ticket is routed to, the ticket number format, the ticket status, priority, service level agreement, the thank you page they see upon creation, and the assigned agent or team. You can also disable the autoresponder for tickets of this help topic from here as well. You have the ability to associate custom fields with your ticket form based on the help topic selected upon creation. You can build out your custom fields from the forms tab, and once completed, you can add the custom form from here. The last key item in getting started is configuring your email. All email configurations are set under the Emails tab. Support System comes with email integration out of the box. You can immediately create tickets from emails sent to your Support System account with no setup required. We ship the software with three examples, but you can create an unlimited number of addresses by putting anything before the at symbol of the subdomain. We encourage you to route your own external mailbox to the system by simply forwarding your external email address to an email address with your help desk subdomain. You also have the option of fetching incoming mail instead with IMAP or POP. Next, you will enable SMTP so that your outgoing mail address is the same. Once the address is added, be sure to go to the Email Settings tab to complete the setup by setting your default incoming and outgoing addresses. If the mailbox is configured for fetching, you will need to enable fetching from here as well. When you're ready to start your subscription, you can do so from the Account Panel Plans tab. The main difference in subscription levels are your attachment size limits per attachment. The premium plan also includes additional security features, including the ability to add a custom SSL certificate to your custom domain, DCAM email signing, and the option of having your data hosted from our London Data Center. Once you decide on a subscription level, you will set the billing frequency. You have the option of monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. When selecting annual here, you will receive a discount reducing the price to $8, $11, or $14 per agent per month, billed yearly. We have a manual invoicing option as well, which allows payment by card, check, or bank transfer. For this type of subscription, you can send us an email including the agent count and subscription level, and we will send over an invoice to start your subscription. If you're on the hunt for more information and guidance, please feel free to check out our documentation website at docs.supportsystem.com. This site is a complete breakdown of everything you need to know when it comes to configuring your help desk. If you have any questions or simply want to chat, please feel free to send us an email or give us a call. And thank you again for choosing Support System.